In the mid-1960s, Creed, Colorado was a town without many prospects. Silver mining, once its lifeblood, was drying up. Nestled in the San Juan Mountains, the remote town's Chamber of Commerce recognized they needed to create a reason for people to travel there. Could a theater do the trick? Twelve theater students from the University of Kansas caught wind of the idea and thought it could. But there was little money and no theater to speak of. Sweat equity and a desire to see the project thrive filled that gap. And 50 years later, Creed Repertory Theater is the small community's largest employer. We visited to bring you this unique and at times unbelievable origin story. Christy Brandt's commute to work is two blocks. Still, most days it takes nearly an hour to navigate. Traffic can't be blamed for the delay. Nope, Creed is not prone to that. What holds Brant up? Her fans. Hi babe, how are you? I'm good. I think some people that come here aren't necessarily that attracted to everybody knowing who you are, everybody knowing what you do, and where you are every day. I truly feel like I'm a part of this community. That sense of community has had a more practical purpose too. It has helped the Creed Repertory Theater to thrive. Understanding that, though, means looking back 50 years. Well, and see, then the mine had shut down, and we was afraid that the town would dry up and blow away. So we created this to keep the town a-going. Phil Leggett was 23 years old when Creed Repertory Theater put on its first productions in 1966. This is a mining town, and it was rough and tough, and we had never seen anything like actual theater. So it was, it was just mind-boggling how those people could remember all of those lines. But before a single line was spoken, Leggett and Jim Livingston had to pitch the theater idea to its junior chamber of commerce, a foreign concept in the small community 250 miles southwest of Denver. Not everyone fished and not everyone uh, went around and partied from ranch to ranch, so there, had, there might be something in town and it might be good for the economy and it might also uh, be good for the local people who, uh, who didn't get to do a whole lot of things. Creed's Chamber of Commerce agreed. Still, a key component was missing, the talent. I knew that if we were going to do it, there was no frame of reference here uh, for theater. I knew a drama department at one of the major universities would be able to supply that. And if someone were crazy enough to come here because we didn't have any money, just uh, raw, raw material and, and uh, an old opera house, a few other things, well, then maybe we could pull it off. A dozen theater students from the University of Kansas caught wind of the idea. Crazy or not, Steve Reed was among those who embraced it. I was thinking, okay, coming out to Colorado, to the Rocky Mountains, starting a theater in an honest-to-goodness Old West mining town, this is an adventure. You know, we, we opened our homes and our community to those kids to put those plays on. We gave them a chance, and they gave us a chance to learn what theater was all about. So it was a two-way deal. I've never been to a place like this, where you feel um, like people um, want you in their family. CRT garnered national attention during Maurice LeMay's 12 years of leadership. As former executive and artistic director, LeMay also helped expand its footprint both in and out of Creed, adding a second theater and staging work in Denver. I think you have to be more cautious when you're the Denver Center Theater Company or you're you know, a major theater company in a way. There's more at risk. Here you can kind of take chances. No one's gonna know if <laughs> you mess up. Jessica Jackson is Creed's current artistic director. I found an audition advertisement for the 2015 season, and it said, quote, we're hiring a family of artists. Does that stem from the fact that the community and the theater are so tightly knit? When we bring in our summer company of about 90, we're increasing the population of Creed by 20-something percent. 
And so we feel like we have a responsibility to bring in people who are going to not only be good company members, but be good community members too, because whether you like it or not, you are not anonymous here. You are a member of this community. As a founding company member, Gary Mitchell was among the first to experience the close relationship between the theater and the community. Well, it was Mr. Roberts. It was June 26, 1966. We'd been working on this play for 10 days, but we'd also been working on building a theater for 10 days and surviving as a company for 10 days. We were having so much fun finally doing a show, even though the paint was wet. And there was this incredible feeling and energy. The theater has had less than incredible moments too. But then in 1970, when the theater burned, that could have been it. I mean, you know, the managing directors that year, you know, they could have just said, you know, we, we can't do this anymore. But they came out here, they met with some of the townspeople, and they all got together and say, we can do this. Let's just do it. And they did, restoring the theater's scorched interior in one month's time. Audiences then, and now, are eager to fill seats. Jessica Jackson pointed out part of the reason for strong ticket sales is CRT's long-standing and exceedingly rare choice to run performances in repertory. There is the opportunity for audience members to see six different performances in one weekend here. And that is a monumental task uh, for an actor. That means being able to run four different shows in one week. And for the production and technical crew, it means this. There's something else that sets Creed apart from other theater companies. Instead of its actors slipping out the stage door after a show, they do the opposite. This is a very valuable experience for Creed. It makes everybody that comes to the theater feel more a part of the theater, and it makes us understand what this art can do for people. There have always been ups and downs, you know, there always are, but this community is just so amazing. I'm mighty proud of the, what, what they're doing, and, and we had no idea that it would last this long. It's grown beyond anything that I ever could have imagined. This is something great. But for Christy Brandt and everyone else at Creed Repertory Theater, it's just another day at work.